Jasmine Trius, everybody. Seacrest out. I first started singing when I was about five years old, and then from there just kept on singing, and I loved it, and it's always been my passion. At 17, Jasmine Trias' passion paid off as she progressed to the top three in the third season of American Idol, overcoming competition of more than 80,000 contestants from across the country. Jasmine, it was just superb. Um, really, really. Is she? Gave me goosebumps. I said it's one of the best things we've had in the competition. The nation watched as the Hawaii-born Filipino-American belted out tunes from the greats Whitney Houston, Natalie Cole, and Elton John. Trias quickly moved from the American Idol stage to a Los Angeles recording studio where she worked on her self-titled debut album. She showcased her diverse vocal style, interpreting songs from Diane Warren to P. Diddy. The album's single, Excuses, topped the urban, hip-hop, and R&B internet radio station, as well as the Get Down Lounge Top 12 at 12. Now everyone else was singing Trias's praises. She is loved in her home state of Hawaii. Hawaii's news for Friday, there's a rumor. The Jasmine's in town. Jasmine Trias! Topping our news this morning. Jasmine Trias. Hi. You have your groupies, you have fans all around. The second you stepped off your airplane, boom, you've arrived. It's the Hawaiian Ryan Morning Show on this Aloha Friday! Yay! Ladies and gentlemen, it's Jasmine Trias! We do hereby proclaim May 13th as Jasmine Trias Day in Hawaii. But Trias achieved superstardom in the Philippines. Her single, Excuses, shot up to number one, and her album quickly achieved gold status there. Her popularity was immediately apparent during her first trip to the Philippines when she was met at the airport by throngs of cheering fans. I love you! Filipino media followed her every move when she was in the country. She was a guest on every show, and she was endorsed by many national brands in the Philippines. Trias became the face of a national TV campaign for McDonald's, where she recorded Love Koto, the equivalent to the slogan, I'm loving it. And while this busy songstress has a full schedule, she always makes time for regular charity appearances, such as a special appearance at the first annual Toys for Tots concert at the Neil Blaisdell Concert Hall. The free Christmas concert is a gift to the community from the United States Marine Corps. The Toys for Tots program collects toys and monetary donations for less fortunate Hawaii children. Trias is a regular on the Las Vegas Strip where she is a huge hit with audiences young and old. The journey has just begun for Jasmine Trias and everyone's anxiously awaiting the next chapter. Peace.